Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video today I'm going to be using the random number generator on Google to design three different charms which I'm going to be showing you how to make in this video. So the generator is going to pick a random animal from this list as well as a random dessert from this list and I'm going to be merging the two ideas to create a charm and I'm going to be making three charms. I do also have another video like this which I've previously uploaded so if you would like to also check that one out I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. So I hope you enjoy and and let's get started. All right, here we go. So we're going to find the charms we're going to make. I'm going to do the first generator and it's number eight. So this is for the animal and number eight is a fish, which sounds like it's going to be an interesting one. And the dessert is 22. It's going to be a fish macaron. Okay. All right. The next one is 32. So the animal is a wolf, all right, and the dessert going with that is number five, which is a cake slice. So I've got a wolf cake slice. And the final charm is going to be number 13 for the animal, a jellyfish. And the dessert going with that one is 23, which is a marshmallow, so a jellyfish marshmallow. So to get an idea of what I wanted the charms to look like, I firstly decided to sketch some drawings on my iPad in an app called Procreate. For the jellyfish marshmallow, I decided that I was going to make the actual body of the jellyfish a marshmallow and then have some swirls of marshmallows for the tentacles. For the wolf cake slice, I pretty much already had the idea in my head of what I wanted it to look like. And then for the fish macaron, I decided that I wanted to go for a rainbow fish inspired design. So first up, I'm going to be making the mixture of a jellyfish and marshmallow. To begin, I rolled a bunch of tentacles using different coloured clay, which I had mixed with translucent to give a more realistic effect. The colour scheme that I was going for was very pastel, so there's a lot of translucent pearls, pinks and glittery clay as well. For some of the tentacles, I wanted them to look like marshmallows, so I twisted some pink, blue and yellow coloured clay together. Next I took a translucent pearly clay for the body of the jellyfish and I shaped this onto my work surface into a marshmallow shape. I then created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and added in two balls of brown clay as well as a small U shape of clay in the center for the mouth. I then added some cheeks on either side using my pink chalk pastels and then I wanted it to look a little bit more like a marshmallow on top. So I dusted on some of my brown chalk pastels to make it look like the marshmallow had been toasted on top. I then went and bunched all of the tentacles together and here you can see that it's thicker at the top and then kind of towards the bottom it thins out which is the look I was going for. I also twisted them together and added a few extra shorter ones around the top before cutting it off and attaching it onto my jellyfish body using some liquid clay. Lastly, I added my eye pin and then I went ahead and baked it in the oven according to my package's instructions. The next charm I'm going to be making is the mixture of a wolf and a cake slice. So for this one, rather than having a grey wolf, I decided to go for more of a purpley kind of periwinkle colour scheme. Here I'm shaping a ball of clay into the shape of a cake slice and then I'm cutting off the edges and the top to make them look nice and sharp and straight. To neaten the outside part but also keep it rounded, here I'm using a round cookie cutter. Now it's time to add some texture. So using my needle tool, I gently swirled the clay to give it a fluffy cake look. And then when I turned it over and did the other side, I set my clay on a piece of sandpaper so that it would maintain the texture rather than flattening down accidentally onto my work surface. Next up is the icing or the frosting for the cake. So beginning with my Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay, I poured some out onto a sheet of baking paper and then I took a ball of periwinkle coloured clay which I had conditioned really well so it was nice and soft. I used one of my tools to squish and mix this into the liquid clay and this creates a nice thick frosting. I spread this over the top and on the outside of the cake as well as in the centre on each side so that it looked like there were two layers of cake and a layer of frosting in between. Thank you. 
To create the wolf's ears, I shaped a diamond out of a ball of clay and then here I'm texturing it with my needle tool to make it look like it's fluffy. I then added a small diamond in the center and then cut this in half so that I ended up with two even sized triangles for the ears and I placed these on the top of the cake slice in the frosting. Moving on to the face, I positioned on two balls of black clay for the eyes and then I added the muzzle part with the nose and the mouth in between the two eyes. I made the cheeks with two balls of pastel pink clay and then right on the outside I added some clay to look like the fur on the side of the face. Now for the decorations, I firstly took these fake sprinkles and I positioned on the purple, blue and white ones. I also added the white ones all the way along the base of the outside and then finally sprinkled some glitter over top of the frosting. I added an eye pin to make it into a charm and then went ahead and baked it in my oven according to my package's instructions. The last design I'm making in this video is a combination of a fish and a macaron. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted a macaron that was inspired by the rainbow fish in the storybook called The Rainbow Fish. Here I'm shaping a piece of blue polymer clay using the sides of my tools to give the fish a round body and also try to create the shape of the tail. I then went ahead and made another one so that I had one for each side of the macaron. To create the texture around the macaron biscuit, here I'm using my needle tool to pull down the clay around the outside and then I also swirled the clay to give it a texture similar to what I did with the cake slice. I then took my two macaron biscuits and I flipped one over where I added an inside part using some scrap clay because later on I'm going to be covering it up anyway so it didn't really matter what colour it was. Then it was time to create the scales so to do this I took a piece of wire and I bent the end into kind of like a little hook and then I just pressed this into the clay leaving a little bit of room on the left hand side for where the face will go. Then speaking of the face, that is what I made next. So I added an eye out of black polymer clay and also a thin coil for the mouth. To create the cheek, I just dusted on some of my pink chalk pastels. Next it was time for the fun part, which was decorating all of the rainbow fish's scales. So I took a few different pigments that are holographic and then some are just iridescent ones and I used a brush to dust each of these onto the scales just in random kind of positions and order. Then I added an eye pin to make it into a charm and I baked it in my oven according to my package's instructions. Lastly for the macaron charm, I created a glittery mix for the icing inside. I started off with some UV resin and added in some pink and holographic glitter. I made sure to add lots of glitter so that the mixture would be nice and thick. Then I used a toothpick to add the resin onto the charm and I did little bits at a time and curing the resin in between each section. Then finally for all three charms I took the eye pins out and secured them with some super glue so that they wouldn't fall out and then I added a layer of UV resin as my glaze for shine and protection. Alright so here is my first charm which is a mixture between a jellyfish and a marshmallow. I really like the concept of this design using the marshmallow as the jellyfish body and making it look a little bit toasted on top then also using swirls of marshmallow colour in the tentacles. The only thing is that I wish the colours in the tentacles turned out a little brighter or more vibrant but other than that I really like this charm design. Next we have the finished wolf cake slice and as you can see I only glazed the frosting and left the cake part as it was. I really love the colours I used in this design and I'm glad I did decide to use more purple and blue hues rather than grey for the wolf. I think it makes it look a little bit more magical if you will. And then finally here we have the fish macaron. When I did the number generator at the beginning of the video I was a little bit confused on how I was going to make a fish combined with a macaron kind of look cute. I guess I was imagining the macaron to be fish flavoured which doesn't sound very appealing. But in the end I think this one turned out to be my favourite. I really love the colours in the Rainbow Fish book and I love how I used the pigments and glitters to also try and recreate them on this charm. 
So they are all the random number generator charms I'm going to be making in this video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!